you've probably heard it before. If you see something, say something. And that's exactly what a local gun range and training facility in Columbus says it's trying to do, and it's been a big help to law enforcement. NBC4's Elise Chengary shows us what that facility is doing and how fugitives are showing up on a wall of shame. When you walk into LEPD here on Bethel Road, you'll see these signs at the door. And if you don't follow proper instructions, well, it says right here, your visit may not turn out as planned. They've done something that has alerted us in the course of their time here. One gentleman was wiping off the bullets before he was loading them into the magazine on the range um, in order to make sure his fingerprints weren't on the casings. Employees are either current law enforcement, retired, or have military experience. Wiping off bullets, the way they're asking questions. You know, we've had several that have refused to sign the waiver that says they're legally able to possess a gun. That's an issue. As soon as something unusual is spotted, they call police. It's a great tool and it's a great thing because the employees at LEPD are trained to look for suspicious activity. When a person is arrested, they place the photos here on the wall of shame. Up to this date, I think we've arrested 14 felons. These pictures off the security cameras of the, the individual being here, these are the actual targets of the bad guys. The wall makes people here feel safer, like Marty Ernsberg. They're not just sitting at the, the cash register, they're actually keeping an eye. and. I think this is a testament to that of how aware of the situation and how good they are at uh, kind of reading what people are doing. Probably the biggest one that we've had was um, a, a terrorist, a gentleman who ended up being a terrorist. Once presented to the, the joint terrorism guys, it ended up being a, a big piece to the puzzle on someone they were looking for. It keeps guns out of the hands of people that don't belong. The owner here tells me that they don't run IDs or background checks because that would be illegal. That's why they call the proper law enforcement so they can further investigate. Here in Columbus, Elise Chingari, NBC4.